Hi everybody and welcome back to 100 Fiddle Tunes. I'm Erica Spires and this is number four. This is Amateur Hornpipe. is a dance tune. Possibly the most popular hornpipe that you may have heard of is Sailor's Sailor's Hornpipe, which is or the Popeye theme. So the hornpipes, uh, you can find them in seafaring communities. It's a dance. It's um, it's jaunty. Some of them might be done as straight eighth notes, but this one in particular is written as a dotted eighth sixteenth pattern. So a da 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 da, -da type of a feel. Let's break down the A section. Starts with two eighth note pickups, C sharp D, which brings us to E. By the way, this tune is in the key of A. C sharp D, E. E, A, E, C sharp D, F sharp D, B, A. So just that much. Starting with that A, we have it hooks into A, C sharp, E, C sharp, A, C sharp, E, Let's try all of that together. sharp a d uh, g sharp a b i'm going to go back and do that from the c uh, from the d to the f sharp so slowly with the note names uh, d f sharp d b c sharp e c sharp a F sharp, A, G sharp, A, B. Once again. That's the 
first half of the A section. So let's go back and do the first half of the A section all together slowly. just the same. The only difference being the pickup is written as a dotted rhythm. C sharp, D, same thing, E, D, F sharp, D, D, A, C sharp, E, C sharp, A, C sharp, E, Let me do that one more time for you without the note names. And finishing this off is D to F sharp, E to D, C sharp, B, A, D sharp, A, C sharp, A. So that last phrase again. Let's do the last half of the A section. is going to start with the similar pickup, just two eighth notes into the first phrase, which is G sharp to A, G sharp A, B, E, G sharp, B, D, B, G sharp, E. do this one with a fourth finger on the D string because we're going to have a big jump and that's hard to do over that string. So a uh, fourth finger on D to a first finger on the G. So let's try that. A, A, C sharp, E, A. beginning of the B. Good. Let's finish off that first part of the B section with D, F sharp, B, D, C sharp, E, A, C sharp. I'm going to continue on to the end of the phrase. Triple it. B, C sharp, B, triple it. A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Okay. Back to that same part without me naming the note names. Now slowly back from the first part of the B section. Part 
two of the B section. G sharp A, same as before, into this. B, E, G sharp, B, D, B, G sharp, A, A, E. Same as uh, the very first phrase of the B section. Okay, and then it changes a little bit and goes higher. A, C sharp, E, C sharp, A. pickups into the second half of the B section up to that part we just did, which is G sharp, A, B, Great, just one little part to learn at the end here, D, F sharp. D to B, C sharp to E jump, G sharp to B, A, little G sharp to A action, grace note action, to A. Okay, so slowly there, D, F sharp, D, B, C sharp, E, G sharp, B, A. Go back and do all of the B section. Can review all of it.
repeat. G sharp. Sometimes it is helpful to see where somebody else makes a mistake because that tends to be where a lot of us would make a mistake. Uh, especially in these endings for these tunes, a lot of them are so similar and you can have like one or two notes different and that's fine. I think actually like that's why we have so many colorful, beautiful variants of the same tune. Um, but in this case, since I'm teaching you one way, I want to try to keep that consistent. Um, so yeah, so so keep that for what you will, that ending, but also know that um, there might be some spots where you saw me have to look down a little bit more than others, and those might be the trickier spots for you as well. Um, there's sometimes something that wants to stick in my ear that's not quite right. Sorry, everybody got a little loud in my apartment building, but I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. So uh, as I was saying, um, you're going to have spots when you see me having to look down more or spots where I might give you a little smile indicating I may have done something wrong. I think that is important overall for you to see because it shows you that um, not only uh, do we all make mistakes, but sometimes where one person makes a mistake, it's more likely that that's a spot that a lot of people will like just hear a little something different and want to want to do something different than what is written. So learn it. My, my advice is learn it as is, learn it as I taught it, and then you can kind of add your own colors to it and your own little ending inflections. That's it for this time for 100 Fiddle Tunes. Please join me next time and make sure you hashtag 100 Fiddle Tunes and share this with your friends.